now see the next example the probability of getting correctly at least 7 out of 10 answers of two false type test is now here for any question there are two options true or false so the getting the correct option that is probability of success becomes one half since p becomes one half we know that p plus q is a one so again q becomes one half and the total of number of questions are 10 so here n is 10 n is 10 now we have to find that the probability of getting at least seven correct options so here it means that we have to find the probability of getting x is greater than or equals to 7 that is probability of uh, x equals to 7 plus probability of x equals to 8 plus probability of x equals to 9 and plus probability of x equals to 10 now now we solve this by using the getting formula of getting r success that is probability of x equals to r that is ncr into p raised to r into q raised to n minus r this becomes now here 10 c7 1 half raised to 7 into 1 half raised to 10 minus 7 becomes 3 plus 10 c 8 10 c 8 1 half raised to 8 into 1 half raised to 10 minus 8 that is 2 plus 10 c 9 1 half raised to 9 into 1 half raised to 10 minus 9 that is 1 and last that is plus 10 c 10 10 c 10 <coughs> 1 half rest to 10 into 1 half rest to 0. Now, to simplify this one, observe here in each of the term, here 1 half rest to 7 into 1 half rest to 3. So, it becomes 1 half rest to 10. Similarly, here 8 plus 2 becomes 10, 9 plus 1 becomes 10, and 10 plus 0 becomes 10. That is, we can take 1 half raised to 10 as a common factor. So, here we write here 1 half raised to 10, 1 half raised to 10 into bracket. Now, this 10 C7, nothing but 10 C3 by using the known formula plus 10 c8 is nothing but 10 c2 plus 10 c9 becomes 10 c1 and 10 c10 becomes 10 c0 10 c0 now we know that 2 raised to 10 is 1024 so here we write it as directly 1 upon 1024 one zero two four. Now here ten C three. This ten C three can be written as ten into nine into eight divided by three into two into one. Plus next ten C two can be written as ten into nine upon two into one. Plus ten C one can be written as ten. We know that N C one is n always. And lastly, 10C0 is 1 because NC0 is 1. Now, here we simplify it as uh, taking the simplification. So, it becomes, it becomes <coughs> 1 upon 1024 into bracket. Now, this 4 into 3, 12, 12 into 10, that is 120 plus 9 into 5 45 plus 11 10 plus 1 11 now we take this addition it becomes 176 so we get 176 upon 1024 and after taking the simplification it becomes 11 upon 64 it becomes 
11 upon 64. So, the getting the probability that at least 4 questions are correct, it becomes 11 upon 64. So, our option A is correct. Our option is A is correct. Now, the next question. Now, next question is <coughs> tricky question. Now, see how it is. Now, here we have given x follows the binomial distribution over n p such that expected value of x is 18, variance of x is 12 and we have to find the total number of x, all possible values of x. This wording can be changed as all possible values of x are. Now see here, we have given expected value of x equals to 18 variance of uh, x equals to 12 we know that q q can be written as <coughs> variance of x upon expected value of x because variance is the value for variance is npq and the value of expected uh, the formula for expected value is np 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 get cancelled we get the q now putting these known values we can write here it becomes uh, 12 upon 18 that becomes 2 upon 3 so we get q equals to 2 upon 3 again by known result p plus q equals to 1 we get p equals to 1 by 3 p equals to 1 by 3 now we have to find the value of n to find the value of n we can put the uh, known values in any one of the formula it is expected value or variance now we know that expected value of x equals to np now put the values now the expected values uh, expected uh, value of x is 18 so 18 equals to n into 1 by 3 1 into 1 by 3 so n becomes 18 into 3 18 into 3 and it becomes 54 n becomes 54 now see here the 54 option is already given but we have to find the total number of possible values of x and we know that the value r is starts from 0 1 to up to n that is whenever we consider the all possible values of x 0 is also included 0 is also included so the total possible values are not 54 it is n plus 1 54 plus 1 so here the most correct or the correct answer is n equals to 55 that is all possible values of x don't confuse since here n is 54 is uh, we find n is 54 by using the formulas but this does not includes the 0 when we include the 0 it becomes this 54 plus 1 so it becomes 55 so the correct answer is 55 here <coughs> now see the next example x follows binomial distribution over n p with n equals to 10 p equals to 0 0.4 then we have to find the expected value of x square now see here we have given n equals to 10 p 0 0.4 p is uh, 0 0.4 so since we know that p plus q is 1 we can write directly q equals to 0 0.6 0 0.6 now remember one formula that is variance of x this variance of x equals to expected value of x square minus expected value of x bracket square this is the one more formula for variance of x now if we simplify this one we can write that is expected value of x square equals to variance of x 
प्लस एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इट्स स्क्वायर दिस निगेटिव बिकम्स पॉजिटिव ऑन एल एच एस नाउ वी नोट एट द फॉर्मूला फॉर वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स इज एन पी क्यू formula for variance of x is npq and the formula for expected value of x is np so it becomes plus np bracket square n into p bracket square now put the values now n is 10 into p is 0.4 into 0.6 Q plus NP means that 10 into 0.4 bracket square. Now this 10 into 4 point sorry 10 into 0.4 becomes 4. 4 into 0.6 becomes 2.4. And this plus now 10 into 4 0.4 means 4 and 4 square plus uh, 4 square is 16. Now 2.4 plus 16 becomes 18.4. So the correct option is D here that is 18.4. Now for such examples we have to remember one of the formula for variance that is variance of x equals to expected value of x square minus e of x square this is the formula when we have to calculate the value of e of x square remember here e of x square and e of x bracket square these are the two different things these are not equals these are the different things remember this one now the next example now in next example, see here again we have to given that x follows binomial distribution over n and p where expected value is given, expected value of x is 5, variance of x is 2.5 and we have to find the probability of getting x is less than 1. Now, now first we have given expected value of x is 5 variance of x is 2.5 now we know that q equals to variance of x upon expected value of x so it becomes 2.5 upon 5 this becomes 0 0.5 0 0.5 can be written as one half because the given options are in terms of one half so we write here 0 point is nothing but one half now since q is one half again by using the property p plus q is one we can write p also one half p also one half now to find the probability we have to find n also so again expected value e of x is given phi u and we know that the formula for expected value is n p so that is n p equals to phi u and so if we put the value of n here uh, sorry p here one half so it gives one half into n is phi u and so we get n equals to 10 we get n equals to 10 here now the probability that x is less than 1 the value for random variable for x is less than 1 is only x equals to 0. That is x is less than 1 is nothing but probability of x equals to 0. Now by using the formula this can be written as now n is 10 so it becomes 10 c 0. P that is 1 half raised to 0 into 1 half raised to 10 minus 0 that is 10 and we know that n c 0 is 1 so 10 c 0 becomes 1 1 half raised to 0 1 so the final that is probability of x is less than 1 becomes 1 half raised to 10 so the option b is correct here option b is correct here now we see uh, all these examples which are 
asked in previous exams either in MSCT or in JE or other state competitive exams. So uh, try to solve more problems. Thank you.